Hi everyone, welcome back to B17, the Mighty Eighth Redux. Yes, last time out we did a quick mission with Chow Hound. Uh, we completed the mission, didn't get any kills, but um, the crew were successful. We hit the target, although they said there was low damage to the um, yeah, low damage to the Breast Harbour, but um, I think we did okay. Um, but I thought we'd go straight up again for mission number two of Chow Hound Crew. Find out where we're going today. No time wasting, let's straight in. Fourth, three days later then, 4th of April 1944. Eurotank oil refinery storage is the primary target. Secondary target is the Merkwiller oil production facility. Tertiary is the Hamburg oil refinery and storage. Ordnance selected is 6 times 500 pound general purpose, 12 times 100 pound incendiaries. Distance to farthest target, 1150 miles. Fighter escorts, two squadrons of P-47s. So, confirmation on the details of the target. So, the primary target, high flak and moderate fighter, very high priority. Secondary is uh, flak and fighter of moderate and priority is high. Tertiary, moderate, flak and fighter and very high priority. Right. Sign our life away. Have a quick look at the recon video. So, it's a large waterway. Easily identifiable. Then narrows. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, loads of towers and uh, piping and buildings. A lot of cooling towers. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to spot. Quick look at the route. Okay, here's the route. So we'll be heading from our base out over the North Sea. Uh, then heading down ooh, through the flak. It's around Bremen area, is it? Oh, Hamburg, sorry. Oh, Bremen's down there. Uh, and then flying back through a bit more flak. We'll try and avoid some of this flak flying over um, Bremerhaven. There's no real point there, is it? We can probably cut through here. Uh, there's going to be a number of enemy airfields. These blue dots are the enemy airfields. Um, so there's going to be some fighters coming up as well. Okay. I think we may, once we're in the air, maybe tweak this a little bit so we don't skirt the flak here. Try and straighten that up a bit, maybe. All that taken into account, let's head to the aircraft. So, here we are, starting engines. Now, one thing, I'll say again, it's an early uh, release code I'm using. The bomb insignia has not been painted on the chassis, but I'm sure they'll get that sorted because that is that is one of the most critical things to have once you completed a mission, to have it marked on your plane. Any enemy aircraft shot down marked on your plane. That is, that is the real sense of achievement, isn't it? Right, while they start the engines and go through the... Uh, Start up sequence and uh, taxi off and head off to the mission. Uh, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, we are heading up. It's uh, 8.31 in the morning, coming up to 15,000 feet, which I think is again our bombing altitude cruise height. Um, speed 150 miles an hour and heading 074. Uh, all's well, looking well. It's just us guys going up again. Not many. I think it's a flight of six, is it? Yeah, small small squadron um, but yeah all looking good see the bombardier there the pilots all looking happy right heading over the North Sea um, we'll see if we can tweak this route a little bit right, if we come over to the navigator yeah we know that right let's have a look let's have a look see if we can improve this um, yeah let's take control we move that a little bit over here, we move that a little bit further forward there, and uh, we can then maybe bring these down a bit lower. The initial part, part uh, points, sorry, will start later, but that will allow us uh, more time to uh, sort it out. I'm thinking maybe if we bring these back a bit as well, rather than flying through the entire flak field, we can maybe bring this back. Not turn straight away because we want to make sure everything's all good, but not hang around too much. And then, yeah, break out wide, and maybe we can head. Ooh. Don't 
don't worry, it's gone orange, it's just recalculating the fuel. There you go, it's gone green. We've got enough fuel to get back. He says, check, make sure, yeah, we do have enough fuel to get back. Um, so that's a quick indicator if you change it too much. If it goes orange, you're very marginal on fuel, so any fuel leaks or damage you take during the mission, you've got to keep that in mind. You may need to do some shortcuts on the way home. Uh, if it goes red, then you're, you're screwed. <laughs> Head back immediately, I think. Um, so there we go. That is what we're going to do. Try and skirt around these, these flak rings here, and then break down through there. That looks like the best course of action. Right, we've turned south now. Now we'll be going to probably just between the, the water and the town, and we'll be turning that way for the target. But so far, so good. We'll be coming into range of the enemy fighters very soon. So keep your eyes peeled and uh, keep your gun warm. Okay, we've been flying south for some time now. No enemy fighters yet, which is surprising. Um, and we've gone past the decision point. So let us try with the radio operator. No, it's not there yet. Okay, so the weather reports have not been um, ported over to this uh, new version. Okay, that's probably something that's still in the works. The only downside of that, of course, is means we're going a little bit blind into our targets. We're not sure if um, which is the best option. Uh, but so far, so good. No enemy fighters. You can see the, uh, the city over there. We're not too far out from the bomb run. Okay, here we are on the bomb run. So, um, let the, the bomber settle down a little bit. So we've got the large waterway coming through here, then narrowing, and there's a target there. I think there's a target here. I think this is our target, is it not? Hang on, let's have a look. Is there, does the river get larger that way? You can't remember which way the reconnaissance videos fly. Is it east to west or west to east? I think it was down the larger part of the river, wasn't it? Then it narrowed, so it'd be here. This will be the target on this side. So it's this one, I think. Um, so I'm going to manually take control. I think it's this side there. There, there you go. There's the larger river. It narrows. Was it on this side? I can't remember now. I didn't take any notes. I think it's. I think it's here. Let's have a look. Anything up there? No, I can't see anything. So I am going to plug it into about there. And hope as we get closer, we will have a better idea. Meantime, the flax arrived, and it's quite well. It's quite fierce. Right back here. Um. I think that's it there. That could be it there. Let's see how that goes. Oh wait, is it here? I think that might be only a part of it. I think it might be there. Alright, let's lock on there. That's where I think the target is. Hopping on the tail. They must have, uh, just as we heard the call, they must have shot past us and we were looking in the wrong direction. Got a little bit of time until the uh, we near the bomb run. Well, sorry, the actual bombing drop position. Oh, fire down there. Oh, tracer fire down there. Oh, no, that's a, one of ours. Sound a few pops at a thunder, uh, thunderbolt then. One of nines. Meanwhile, back at the uh, sharp end. That looks good there, doesn't it? That's it, I think. I'm busy. 
Hopping on the cheat gun. There's someone out there. They're not going to come. No. Can't get to him. Anyway, back to the important bit. We're kind of off. It's there. A last minute change like that is probably a disaster. Is that it? No, it's over here. Look, there it is. There. Oh my god, I was on the wrong side of the. It drifted to the wrong side of the. Um, the river. I try and. Last minute bombing. It's not going to be good. We can just get it in the uh, vicinity. Okay. Doing the important bit, boys. Doing the important bit. Almost lost it in the drift in the in the cloud. That's why that's why you need to stay on the Norden bomb site and not go to do the uh, the guns. Oh, we got there though. Bombs away. Okay, here we are. Oh, first bombs dropped short. But yes, well, they drifted, didn't they? But um. Uh, it was off slightly off target. I wanted to come through towards us, but it didn't quite work out. Anyway, what was that? Was that an aircraft coming down there? Maybe. Don't know. Anyway, back to defending the air. Oh, that's a bomber. Goodness me. Oh, and the flat comes back. A bit of a scuff on him, but nothing more. He's got a burnt out number one engine down there. Oh, got a smoky engine. Ten o'clock level. Oh, there's more of them. Another flight just come in. Oh, that was a... Oh, we've got two engines in trouble now on one side. We're in... Um, this is not good. This is not good. Looks like 109s. Five high, don't see him. There they go. Yeah, you feel really feel your visibility is impaired with the um Whoa! I think that was a friendly. Crikey. We're being real punished now. Quite a high bank angle there. Good hits. Whoa, steady on. So we see where the other aircraft are. Oh, hello. It's down here somewhere. Got some good hits on him then. 10 o'clock high, bloody hell. How much I can do from down here? There will be an attack low, felt like recently. Don't see him. How low are they? Oh, we've got our um, top turret gunner has gone down injured. Let's uh, send our radio guy to um, go and patch him up. You can see him as he 
Makes his way through the Bombay door, or sorry, the Bombay section, and then our guy is probably at the back here somewhere. Get that out of the way. Is he behind the pilots? Yeah, there he is, he's down there. Okay. Lovely details in the uh, the flight suit and the uh, oxygen mask and the headset of the uh, the crew, isn't it? It's really nice. I really like it. Fix him up. They don't do the old-fashioned slap across the chops to wake him up anymore. Uh, obviously, medical science has moved on in the last <laughs> 20 years since the original game came out. He looks like he's just patching him up. Hopefully we'll get the call soon. You can see some of the bullet holes in the back of the co-pilot's seat as well. The armor plating doing its job. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, if we uh, hop in there, can we see... There, there he is, he's back up. He's back up, um, standing on his um, turret stool. Uh, have a quick look around the plane. Got a bit of damage to the nose section here. That's all. All seems to be well with those two guys. Um, we've done the pilots, and we've seen a bit of pilot damage there. Midsection seems okay. Nothing too much to worry about. And the tail, they've taken a few holes as well, but we're all looking good. It's the engines we're worried about at the moment. Can they get us home? Oh, there we go. Engine one is out of fuel. So it's just windmilling at the moment. So what we should do is select the pilot and we can feather engine one. We should go through the full shutdown procedures for engine one as well, but uh, we'll just feather it for now. There you go, engine one. Stop windmilling. It's feathered. It's locked, and it's um, minimum drag now configuration, so it shouldn't cost us too much fuel to get that. A little while later. Do not fear. It's just coming up to two o'clock. One of the bombers is dropping back with the engine one out. Similar to us, we've got engine one out and engine two is smoking. Um, but the good news is. Uh, we are over friendly base and we're just um, slowing down now and dropping back and we'll drop down and begin our orbit to get these aircraft home. Right, lowering landing gear. Deploy flaps. See if we can bring this in for a nice glide. No, oh, it seems to be down on engine power. Close to uh, stalling speed now, I should imagine. So, um, let's bring this down nice and gently. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Without knowing it. Oh, keep the tail down. We've got a fault. We've got a damaged. Um, Taxi to hard stand. Yeah, we've got this uh, landing gear. Look at that. It's been absolutely shot to pieces and it was dragging us to the left of the runway. But um, yeah, we'll um, try and. We might just need to get off the runway and uh, shut it down because that is broken to all usefulness. Yeah, we'll, we might just have to shut down here. We're not going anywhere on that. Right. 
Yeah, let's get the shutdown sequence complete. Hopefully no one's going to come in with our wing. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is not a great place to be. And she's she's got a bit of a, a lean on as well, so she's damaged. So, a lot of damaged undercarriages, it would seem. You can see the, the angle we're currently at. But anyway, we'll get the... Um, these last engines shut down and uh, we'll get the crew out and um, get them to the debriefing <laughs> oh, welcome to mission debriefing that was a little bit sketchy at the end wasn't it but we made it down 4th of April 1944 target attack was the Eurotank oil refinery and storage thankfully at the last minute I saw it and uh, <laughs> switched our focus um, distance flown works perfectly this time 1158 miles that bugged out last time if you recall bombers lost missing 2 enemy fighter shot down 7 bomb damage estimate totally destroyed far better than the previous attempts there you go uh, technical sergeant Schultz received a light wound and there's the bomb damage assessment make of it what you will so, commanding officer's summary, no promotions. Uh, this is something that was bugged in the original game, so I don't know if they're going to try and correct that in this uh, the, the final release of this game once they're a long way down the line when they've completed their early access and done all their further development, etc. be interesting to see if they tweak that. However, medals awarded. Technical Sergeant Schultz got a Purple Heart for his injury, and Staff Sergeant Mercer has received a Soldier's Medal, so I'm hoping he's done very well. Um, missing crews accounted for. Guardian Angel crashed in enemy territory. Sadly, all aboard were lost. Um, Bombshell Blonde crashed in enemy territory again. Sadly, all aboard were lost. A rather somber note. We head back into the office. And yes, finally, we get some kills to our name. Three aircraft shot down on this mission, which is much better to see. Um, so there you go, mission to Euro tank storage refinery, totally destroyed. Kavanagh got a 109, Mercer got a 190, and Shantz got a 109. So Mercer, Kavanagh, and Shantz. Right, where, where are they positioned? Don't. Oh, we go. Mercer's the tail gunner. Um, Kavanagh is the radio operator. Ah, so he must have shot that down from probably the cheek turret. Nice. Um, and who was the other one? Top turret chance, wasn't it? Okay, cool. Well, that's 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 happy reading. Have a quick look at the aircraft. Right, hopefully now that she will get this um these holes repaired, this engine fixed, and the, the oil issues in this one sorted, or whatever was the damage to that. Uh, and hopefully we'll get the the three aircraft kills and the two bomb insignia painted on the hull, uh, signifying that we have completed two missions and shot down three enemy aircraft. Quick look in the medical book to see that the top turret gunner no, uh, got his purple heart um, but he's also received a wound of course wounded in action he did get an enemy aircraft shot down as well um, he's completed two missions it's a light wound he should be back in five days perfect perfect well there we go mission two a bit more challenging but Chow Hound is going strong and um, yeah, and already the improvements from mission one to mission two. My undercarriage was working. I figured out what the problem was. It was um, it was diff um, obviously it, the game had updated and I hadn't reassigned my keys. So it was a user error. It wasn't the game's fault. It was me. But yeah, with all that looking good, we'll uh, leave it there. I hope you're enjoying this revisit to B17 the Mighty Eight, uh, the Redux version. Super sexy graphics, especially in the office here. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Lovely artwork. Um, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.